Hello, everyone. My name is Xin Guangzhong. Today, I'd like to introduce you our new work, Shine Mapping, large-scale 3D mapping using sparse hierarchical implicit new representations. Accurate mapping of large-scale 3D environments is an essential building block of most outdoor autonomous systems. Traditional methods like voxel-based mapping need to balance mapping accuracy and memory consumption. Usually, we have to choose large scenes mapping with low resolution or high resolution mapping for small scenes. Although some sparse data structures like Octree, voxel hashing, and OpenVDB can help to reduce the memory consumption, voxel-based methods still need to be improved to handle the challenge of accurate large-scale mapping. Recently, newer representations attract a lot of attention. By implicitly storing geometric information in the neural network, these approaches can achieve remarkable accuracy and high-fidelity reconstructions with compact size. In this work, we are going to combine the neural representation and the octree structure for large-scale 3D mapping for range sensors. Let's start with our map representation. After we get the real point cloud with pulses, we use an octree to organize the points and store a one-dimension feature vector for every corner on every level. Once we want to query a coordinate, we first look up which lowest level's node it belongs to, and use trilinear interpolation to calculate the feature vector of this level. Then, we do the same operation for each upper level and add up all the feature vectors to get the summed vector to represent the geometric information of this coordinate. Finally, we fit it into a small neural network and regard the output as the sign distance value of this coordinate. As the whole process is differentiable, we can optimize the network and the feature octree jointly by back propagation. For this training part, we sample a long array from the input point cloud to collect the training data. We divide the array into two segments, close to a surface and away from surface. Then sample more points in the closed surface area. We simply use the distance from sampled point to the surface, which called project distance, as the expected value. Instead of using it to train or map directly, we first map the project distance into 0 to 1 by sigmoid function, and use the binary cross entropy laws to optimize our map. As we can see, the colorful curve represents the losses corresponds to different networks output. The sampled point far away from surface is less sensitive to the change of network output. So, in this way, we implement the soft truncation. After training to converge, we use the matching cube algorithm to extract mesh from our implicit field. As shown, our method can reconstruct the really large scenes with rich details. And for incremental mapping, we obtain the sensor's observation frame by frame and optimize the area covered by current observation. The feature field will be extended when we explore new regions. And the problem is, if we only use the current data to optimize our feature field, the shared feature like V2 and V3 will only care about the newest observation and forget what they learned before, which is called catastrophic forgetting in the continual learning area. To reduce the influence of catastrophic forgetting, we add another regularization term into our loss function to limit the update of feature vector and use the historical cumulative gradient as the weight of each element in the feature vector. With the help of regularization, we can achieve incremental mapping without storing historical data. For the evaluation, we calculate the chamfer distance between our result and the ground truth mesh. We compared our results with several methods like voxel-based method, voxblocks, VDB fusion, and the Poisson reconstruction-based method, Puma. As shown, our results error is less than others on synthetic dataset and also on noisier real-world dataset. As we can see, the quantitative result shows our mapping method outperformed the state-of-the-art on both accuracy and completeness. In addition, 
Our method is much more memory efficient, and it can still achieve pretty good reconstruction results with very small memory consumption. Our methods also have good performance on other LiDAR datasets and even indoor RGBD datasets with depth image only. In summary, we propose a sparse, hierarchical, implicit neural mapping system for range sensors. It scales well to large outdoor things. We also use feature update recordation to achieve incremental mapping, and the experiment shows our method is more accurate complete and more memory efficient than comparisons. We are already open sourced our code. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to contact us. See you next time.